Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Simpler. Simpler is a multi-touch sampler. Um, probably one of the best on iOS at the moment and uh, I really hope that they will continue to develop it. So let's in this video go through uh, the user interface, the navigation to get ourselves uh, familiar with the application and we will uh, use future videos to delve into some of the specific features. So starting from the top left we have a button here where we can as create a new project, save, load it, etc. And we can change some of the settings as well. Next, we have a metronome. Activate, deactivate. Next, we have a tempo. You can click and hold, slide in left and right to change the tempo. You can do that in real time. You have a master volume, which is really interesting. And uh, because this is for the overall, but you can play up to one, two, three, four, five, six sample at the same time. So and that is really uh, that's why you have a master volume separate to uh, each sample here you have a menu which you can uh, click and you can slide left and right uh, to see the content then you have a, another menu where you can load samples for example let's go inside the demo and let's uh, bring up i don't know for example uh, this loop base and then you see that being loaded underneath. You can click on each slide. At the moment, you see number of slides there. Eight, which correspond to the number here. If you if you um, touch or click with your mouse lower, the volume will be lower. Uh, and when you move it up and click, the volume will increase. Okay, here you can set it to play in reverse. And here you have a number of play modes, uh, which are really, really interesting, and we will use those in the next uh, uh, videos. Then you can select the volume here for the sample, the attack, okay, and also the release. And here you have your play controls. Depending on the play mode you select, this will change accordingly. Here you have a, a selection of number of slices, like so, which you can change. And here you can actually uh, set to see the markers and then move them yourself like so or for example I create a new one clicking like that on on uh, this bar and create a new one or double clicking uh, click and move away sorry not double clicking to actually remove that marker then we have transposition uh, for example okay and or you can do in real time Okay, and this button is to set actually uh, the length of the sample to correspond to uh, the project tempo. Then we have a button to record because you can, you have a sequence inside the sampler. And here you see uh, the measurement and you can also and decide to cancel the recording there will be an x which will appear here when it is recorded and this is a button which practically allows you to hold the uh, sample that you are pressing underneath so this is the area where you touch your sample but also you can where you touch for recording for playing for recording for both purposes then underneath here you have a play button when you click and hold it will show you um the uh, six samples which can be activated for play or pose and also on the far right hand side around here you have your master setting which you can change okay and um or you can click and uh, stop or play as well on the top here uh, we have a number of effects like distortion you have uh, your uh, um filter um, you have uh, your amplitude modulator your feedback delay and also reverb which again we will look in uh, other uh, videos so i'm going to stop here for uh, the description for the an initial overview of the interface but before i leave you i just wanted to uh, load a couple of demo project to give you an idea of the capabilities
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this first introduction to Sampler and I see you at the next video. Bye.